Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, and this is the end of the four deliveries that I've had of uh, Eagle Moss's build the DeLorean, we are now on issue 11. Okay, after that massive monumental one in uh, issue 10 where we did the chassis and all of that, let's see what we've got to build this time. Uh, basically, let's go for the magazine first, uh, I'll just move that over here. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of the engine mounts and supports, as you can see from these things here. Uh, there's four pages of instructions, uh, but they look pretty simple to do, actually. And then we're going to be attaching this to the chassis. We've already completed this section here, so today we're going to be doing this section here. Uh, and then we get some more of that production diaries of uh, the original Back to the Future film. Looking pretty good. It does make me wonder when I see scenes like this, uh, how many um, episodes or how how much of the film Eric Stoltz actually did uh, before they decided to fire his ass. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's that. A little bit about Biff Tannen. And this is what's coming in the next issue. Um, obviously, this will be issue 12. Um, a lot to do with the left rear axle and stuff like that. Now, this probably won't be here for another three to four weeks, just to bear in mind. And that's what we got uh, there coming. So, um, without further ado, let's get cracking on issue 11. Okay, I've laid this out. I've put this here, and I think I'm going to leave it in this little plastic thing that it comes in, because uh, there's so many little bits. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bits, and some more screws. And these screws are DMs and HM. That's a new one. Uh, haven't seen that before. Uh, okay, so let's get cracking. The first thing you want me to do is use this section here. Uh, this is step one. Fit parts 11G at the ends of the engine support 11A. Uh, align the corresponding screw holes of all three parts. Secure them with DM screws. Right, okay then. Uh, what do we do? So the ends that we need are these ones here. There's me saying I'm going to keep it nice and neat in here, but I think the only way these are coming out <laughs> is if I trash the place. <laughs> okay, so we've got these two bits here. Now, these are directional, and basically, we're going to be having, I'm just going to see if this is, goes around a certain way. It goes around that way, in the gap. So we're going to have one going in there, and we're going to have this one going in this side here. Now, these are secured with DM screws. So... Let's get them out. Whoa! We just spilt the whole lot of them. We didn't want to do that, did we? Again, it's uh, apologise for the black on light here. It's not uh, ideal. Excuse me, I have a screwdriver for this. That's it. Okay, once I've got this started, then uh, we're good to go. Okay, so that's the first one being screwed in there. There's going to be a screw going in the side here. Yep, so I'm just making sure they are definitely in the right way. We're going to do the other side here. These are easy to screw in. I will tilt this up so you can see that in a second. Just need some light to reflect on it. So that looks like... Can you see that there? That's better. Look, there we go. As soon as you get the right light, you can see how they're screwed. So we've screwed one screw in here, the other screw in here. So step two, place parts 11F under parts 11G, aligning the holes in both and secure with two HM screws, which are these two parts here. One. And two. Okay, what way round do they go? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so they go this way round, and it's going to be going sort of in here, I'm guessing. Uh, bear with me while I'm just looking at that. These seem very strange, actually. We got... Okay, so they're the bits that are coming out. Right. And they can't go in any other way. So they are directional. Right, okay, so we put this first one in. So it's basically going in, again, this way with this facing down to this section here. And we're going to be putting a screw for all of these here, but uh, what screw is it? The screws we're going to be putting through are these new HM ones, these really big long ones. So we get these out. Uh, 
Ooh, this is going to be fun. I've just started that off so I can make sure that we put this in and it's going to go through there. This is a big old screw. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start it off till it breaks through to the other side. There we go. Then I'm going to put this bit on, which will hold it. It is directional, so it can only really go in one way. There you go, that's in there. And then we'll finish the screwing. Just want to check that's in. Yes, it's going in, so that's good. Big old screw, this one. So this is step two. We're going to be doing this both ways around. Right, there we go, that screws in. We've got one axle on there. And we're going to do the same the other side. As I said, what we did last time, I think that worked quite well, is we'll put the uh, screw in first. Start it up. Till it breaks through there, which is just done. Then we'll put this bit in. So it gets held in. And once again, we'll screw this down. You only really want to screw this until it breaks through to the other side, which is done there. And that's it. So, we've got that bit done. That's step two done. That looks pretty cool. Okay, next one. We're going to be putting, uh, if this is round this way, which is the way I've got it there, we're going to be putting these bits in there. Which are sort of like flappy bits. <laughs> I don't think that's the technical name for them. Uh, they're doing this one first, but these are going to be sitting on top of the units here. Just like that. That sat in quite nicely there, actually. And these are going to be secured with the DM screws. Uh, these things have got two screw holes on each one. Okay, so we're going to be doing the same thing here. Um, oops. He says, and then it falls over. So, the first one, I'll put the centre one in first. This is going a lot easier than the last issue did. Um, I do thank you, I've just seen a comment pop up because uh, I've just finished filming uh, episode 10 and uh, someone said about the magnets being lost in the wheel. Yeah, I am aware of that. I did get a replacement and I replaced them at the end of the video. You should be able to see that, that I've got the magnets on there uh, at the end of the video. Um, funny thing is, I don't know what happened to the magnet. It was there. I'm guessing it pinged off somewhere and the next time that I... Um, Decide to tidy this room up. I'm sure I'm going to find it. <laughs> uh, so we're replacing the next side now. This is step two of that. So uh, keeping it symmetrical there. So that's that one in. And again, we'll put this one in. I will try and keep getting you some light on this. So you can... Uh, it's really hard working with black. Because you can't really see the detail. Okay, that's those bits in, so again I'll try and get some detail there, it's hard with the light, there we go, there's a little bit there, you can see the screws there, and the same on that side there, there I reckon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some plates on these two sides here, which is step three and step four. So I've got these two bits here, now these two bits, that's all empty so I'll chuck that, uh, whereas all this is metal, these, see, these bits here are plastic, uh, so the plastic bits are just going to fit in here, and here pretty simple uh, and they're going to be secured again with the M screws so we'll put one in <laughs> you know every time I say the word we simply <laughs> it's never simply there we go one's in Okay, that's one in. Let's try and get this little bad boy in. There you 
go. That's better. <laughs> Okay, and that's the second one in. So it looks like that. There we go. One in there. And the other side there. Got trying to get the, uh, <laughs> the frame up there. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's those two. So it's basically we've done step four. Okay, now step five, we're basically going to be putting all of this. I'm just going to move these over the way because we're bringing the chassis back. So let's go get that. Okay, here's the chassis. If I put it in the way we're going to be working on. Uh, this side here, uh, but I believe we're going to be having, I oh know we are on the right side, um, this is going to somehow attach to it, oh it's going to attach to the other side, so uh, I am going to need to place this underneath, and it goes a certain way, it goes, I'm trying to make, figure out which way it goes, da -da -da. yeah I think it goes this way. If it doesn't, then I'll soon find out. Uh, but it does fit quite snug in there. Yep, that's the way it goes. And let me guess, I'm guessing that's DM screws. Yep, <laughs> they sent us enough of them. So we're going to be securing this with DM screws. I'm just going to move the light over just so you can see me screwing this bit in a little bit better than it was. There we go. So, put the first one in. Yep, that is biting. I'm not putting them in tight. Just enough to... Uh, get these bad boys in two so basically this is step one and step two so step one was putting it underneath step two is screwing the beast down three they're not tight at all at the moment and four right let's get some tightness on these that's one screw in two screws three screws four screws there we go so we got that section in here there's my wheels still doing what they do and over the other side here that's what that looks like from the other side uh, that was pretty easy that one I have to say uh, it does make a change having an easy one for, <laughs> for it <laughs> rather than what we just went through. Um, so basically that's where we finished up with the frame and that's how it ends. And uh, yeah, as I said, that is issue 11. Issue 12, as I said, it's going to take about three or four weeks. Hopefully I won't get them two weeks late like I did last time. Uh, but you know something that I do like? I do like if you comment, if you see I've missed something or if you've done something differently or if you notice I'm missing something, uh, which I believe the guy was Ian who just brought that up. So uh, I might have got the right name wrong. But uh, yeah, please let me know because I will go back and fix it. And when I built this DeLorean, uh, DeLorean when I built the Millennium Falcon here, um, the amount of times people said, no, don't glue this, or no, you've forgotten the part, or no, you wally. <laughs> but it seems to be exactly as it's been to be at the moment. So uh, until next time, see you later.